made it all the way out to what some people would consider middle of nowhere, North Dakota, and Finley, North Dakota, north of Fargo, probably what, another hour, hour, hour ish, and half, hour and a half, between, between Grand Forks and North Dakota anyway. Uh, Finley Motorsports, also Casey Motorsports in the snowcross world. Here with Evan and uh, also Evan, um, older Evan, younger Evan, mustache Evan, uh, can't grow, Fearless. can't can't grow facial hair, Evan. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> but uh, making my way, you guys have noticed I've done a lot of different racing visits, and this will also continue. Uh, the stop is here. So tell me a little bit about yourselves, a little more than you guys race snowcross. I'll let this Evan go first. Okay, facial facial hair, Evan. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I live in Reamer, a little ways away from here, about three and a half hours or so. And this will be my third year racing for KC Motorsports. Really looking forward to this year. It's been a good summer of training and, and riding dirt bike. And me and Ivan have had a chance to ride dirt bike a little bit. And it's looking good for me coming up this yep. snowcross season. Good to hear that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to getting going and finally having the track at Shearings Open. We're heading over there. And, yeah, it'll be a good year. Heck yeah. And, yeah, it's a pro light and... Yeah, pro yeah, pro light this year and um, crush it and win the championship this year and pro next year. That's what everyone wants to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're racing pro light and you're racing pro light and he's taking the championship, what does that mean for you? The super championship. <laughs> Every seventeen for seventeen or sixteen for sixteen, however that goes. Uh, that means my number on your left butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Another inside, a lot of inside yeah. jokes and bets going on at this place. I like it though. Oh yeah, but it's good. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to my year too. Obviously, this is my second year in pro light. Um, we, I've been on the team ever since it's been started. This Finley is my hometown. You know, this is my home turf, and obviously yep. you guys came up. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. And, you know, it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to the year. Last year we had a stellar year in pro light. You know, we got fifth in points, and then we got sixth. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Ha! Now, so the banter is just all the time here. I like this. I'm going to fit in pretty well. I'm probably get in on some of this action here pretty soon too. But uh, so uh, yeah, so how big is Finley? I didn't even see the sign when I drove in. So it's about 350 people, to be so, honest with you. And it's, yeah. it's, you know, everybody within 100 miles of here knows about Finley and yep. Snowcross and Motorsports. And For sure. So, they, uh, so with our practice track in the middle of the field, um, people sit there, eat supper, and watch us ride, <laughs> and it, you That's know, awesome. everybody loves it, and you know, we can go 9, 10 o'clock at night, nobody yeah. cares. So. Yeah. Nice. So then, uh, if it's only 300 some people, how many people are in your graduating class? Uh, six, six, including me. Including you. <laughs> See, I thought I came from a small town. I graduated with about 20, uh, and... You guys were six, and then Reamer isn't that big either. No, my class was like 17. Right. So we both had to be. I, I went to the big school. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, some yeah. so small town action. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool, especially when the town is pretty, obviously, cheers you on pretty heavily. Yeah. Here. Oh, yeah, so. big deal around here. Everybody everybody cheers both me and Evan on like no tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. We're like their babies, and, you know, they're all proud of us no matter what, but obviously we want, we want to make them proud. And, yeah. So the whole point. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, well, I guess we'll start working on some practice sleds. I'm there's a avalanche class later on, so I'm sticking around for that. So yeah. I'm gonna even try to get my hands dirty, maybe get in the way or something like that when they're trying to get ready to go to shearings. <laughs> so, <laughs> other than that, let's go around. Show me around a little bit. All right. Well, I can let's show you around. All right. Um, if you'd like, so obviously you get the race trailer. Yep. You get this at every race weekend that we go to all the nationals and the pro series. Obviously, we get all of our sleds being built at the moment. We just got them in. Um, so it's kind of a, a scramble around here. We've been thrashing it around. So we got a few race sleds here and a few there. And practice sleds are down yonder. And if you come on inside, so we'll give you a little tour of our race weekend. So mm -hmm. this is all where, like, Evan Delt's sled will be here, and then my sled will be here. And uh, Dahmer and all the mechanics have all their, you know, tools, computers, everything they need all back there. Belts, you know, clutching stuff. There's covers upon covers full of, you know, goodies. You can scan on in there. There's just 
Oh yeah. And over here we get all of our chemicals, all the fun stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So we get belt sanders, whatever we need. It's basically able to fix a snowmobile on the road, whatever we can do. Um, lots of toolboxes, tool benches. We come up this way. We got our lounge. This is our rider's lounge, so where me and Evan can uh, take our naps and yep. pre-race meals and yep. all those stuff. Mm -hmm. Up here is just kind of the community lounge, so we, you know, crock pots, TV, super cross on you in the bet. winter time. And you bet. Whatnot. And there's the chef right there, actually. The chef. Hey. Kelsey, the chef. <laughs> <laughs> year so awesome. we got lots of experience and lots of seasons and ready race wins under our belts that's crazy i all oh, this might make myself to some it might date myself or might make people feel older i graduated high school in 2016 which is already hard to believe that's almost 10 years ago um but <laughs> yeah yeah well you're older yet yeah. <laughs> barely barely must say i do like the I like the straight pipe peep. Oh yeah, and then we got bad ducky. It's kind of hard to see it. Normally we got the truck backed up. Oh bit, yeah. Got to get the bad ducky in there. <laughs> nice. All yeah. right. Always something, you know. We got our nicks mm -hmm. and nacks around here. You yep. And this is uh, right with the yep. motor short shop. So yeah, so this is, we call this the race shop because it's kind of hidden, secluded. Only the race department stuff or our race stuff goes in here. And then just on the other side of this wall is the showroom. And on the other side of that wall, we got the uh, the main shop, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So it it's, fits right in. And to be honest with you, if you didn't know it was here, you wouldn't even know. I, uh, when I walked in the door, I walked, I walked in there. I'm, oh, I'm looking for a... Uh, Evan the Evans and uh, they go, oh yeah they're right over here and I went through this I'm like oh I didn't even realize this was back here yeah it's nice and hidden and secluded <laughs> uh -huh. and it's, yeah it's perfect yeah if you drive through Finley obviously Finley's only 350 people you, you're not gonna miss this place oh no it <laughs> sticks out like a sore thumb <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right well let's uh I'll let you guys get back to diving in some race sleds and I'll just get in the way when I feel needed oh that works perfect sounds good, good to me <laughs> <laughs> brought and delivered their skis here Doubt's gonna pull out his fresh white and black ones. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. Let's bolt some of these on. We'll get some of these sleds tuned up. I'm actually here staying for the avalanche class that Matt Adams and Dan Adams is putting on. So I said put me to work. So we're gonna get some sleds ready because they're gonna go up to the climb compound up at Shearing's here tomorrow morning. <laughs> Come on, thumbs. Oh. <laughs> those bushings go in snug, and for a very valid reason. You don't need those to egg out at all. <laughs> They're not gonna trust me. <laughs> That's exactly how you want them. Everybody, just take notes. This is how you want to set them up, especially <laughs> pro light riders. <laughs> If you are putting on skis and you're looking to make sure your alignment's right, we do have uh, these little cheat sheets here that you can go off of. So you want these to actually be towed out of here. So you'll see on here, you want, uh, you line up a straight edge with your track into your back of your ski. So you want your front distance to be about a three eighths wider than the one kind of towards the back of your ski. Helps eliminate with darting and in the end it helps you drive straight. So he's adjusting his tie rods here so we can get this achieved. Forty one. Alright, sweet. On the dot. Right on. Frog skin's going on, eh? Yeah, I'm just making sure we keep that snow out of our sleds here. Mm -hmm. Gotta have it. So is your your practice sled already done then or what? Yeah, the, my practice sled's already done. Just finished her up the other day, you know. Working. Come on, Doubt. Keeping countless hours. Yeah, yeah. Doubt he's got his practice sled done. 
Not choosing not even to listen over there. Yeah, <laughs> dang. You just can't keep up with me, I guess. Just on my own level. Younger kid just out here taking names. Yeah, he's choosing not to listen to yeah. us right now. <laughs> he's ignoring us. <laughs> How nice of you. After you get your own practice sled all buttoned up, you're going to help Delt out to get his done. Trying yeah. to get going here. I've been trying to go for like two days now. <laughs> been waiting for him. So, whatever I can do to help the slow man out. Yeah. How are you going to let a young buck like this take you on like that? I, I'd rather prove myself on the track. <laughs> That's a load of doobie. <laughs> Inside joke on that one. <laughs> Just some blood. This one. All right, let's just unplug this one. Tapers. Let's just unplug this one. This one might be something. What did you do? <laughs> nice skinny jeans. <laughs> Thanks. There's mom jeans. What did you do? I guess we'll find out how good of a mechanic he is when he realizes the problem down the road. <laughs> I'm having to out. <laughs> I know it's been kind of pick on pick on doubt, but yeah, thanks a lot. Why don't you um, guys both stand there watching? Maybe we should just watch him struggle a hair more. I agree. No. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, oh, you almost had it. <laughs> How'd you get your other one on? Yeah, it fit right in. Oh, I have an idea. You must have did it wrong. I have an idea. Oh. <laughs>